welcome um girls uh gays and whatever you are to another episode of corpse party but we're gonna make really bad decisions <laughs> um we're gonna kill a couple of characters and then we're gonna revive them and then they're gonna die again <laughs> and i'm ace <laughs> i'm ace <laughs> We you swapped. My... We swapped bodies. You swapped. You stole my identity. Oh my god. Um, what were we doing the last time? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I can't run in this. Oh, fuck off, mouse. A pair of scissors on the shelves. Okay, th we read this before. You were trapped in our in that room with Naomi. Yes. In here. It's locked. Do we go this way? There's a board, so I assume yes. Hi! I thought you said there was a board for a second. <laughs> yes. It reveals yes. an ID name tag. Keys on me. Oh my god, that was so sinister. <laughs> did, did you just hear a voice? Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. He got run over by a bus. Name Kizami. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Shitting my pants. Reduce this is the one we just got. Push downstairs. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to happen to uh, Naomi in the last one. Well, in the first episode, I think it was. <laughs> huh? You wouldn't. I said to her, I hope she falls down the Hold stairs. On. Hold on. It wouldn't be a quick death. It would be very slowly, and you would suffer. Probably. This one says push downstairs, suffered compound fracture, and bled out. So definitely yes. We need one more from this chapter, and then in, in, even then, in the first one. We didn't- we didn't find the last two. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going the right way, judging by the corpse there. Bathrooms. Um, Ayumi? It feels weird being in the boys' room. Isn't- well, isn't the other room where Seiko is- Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy again! Shut the damn door. Hey, did you just hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. He's trying to take a shit, <laughs> and you guys are interrupting him. Next. Nice. Uh, we should leave this room right now. Okay. Open the door. Nothing now. What a pussy. <sighs> sure has an interesting smell. What the fuck? I don't want to know. Let's just go, Ay Ayumi. I almost called her Ayomi. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh. Side eye. What's this? It seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Somehow, somebody, somebody died here. I can hear her voice. It's, uh... What the fuck? She's freaking out. <laughs> um, no, no, please don't. What's wrong? <laughs> oh my god. She's freaking out. Creep. Whoa. There's. <laughs> it's always the panty shots. God damn it, Ayumi. Uh, all you hear is Psycho, and then she screamed over it. 
Damn it all. What the hell is going on around here? Where don't run out yet. There's a place over there. Hold on, can I go back in? What the hell? The stall's pitch black inside. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Yeah, your friend. She's dead. But I think Naomi's down there in the corner, isn't she? Right. Yeah, that's where Naomi would be. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fucking... Whatever your name was. Are you alright, Shinazaki? Oh! Sounds like somebody didn't eat their vegetables. <laughs> oh my god. God. You bring me more. I'll do whatever. You'll, you'll do whatever I ask of you. <clears throat> um. I don't care if you're innocent. You're less of us buried alive, aren't you? I question who's buried alive now considering what happened to what is his name uh fucking um in the last one when i looked at the kid it was this dude yeah i forgot his name they're mine i'm i'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you hmm Someone has candy and they don't want to share it. Even I'm offended. Damn, bro. Clean up is a real pain in the ass, too, you know? Have some pity. Clean up? What are they cleaning? I don't know. Uh, what the fuck? She's fine. What's up? How are you okay? Even I'm... Fight it, Shun. Fight what? Uh, fight it, I guess? Because I think if I say cut the crap, she'll run off and die. Hmm. Did we give her a laxative? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we gave her... Oh, she punched me. What the hell? That really hurt. I believe in you. Why'd you punch me then? Why does anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. She's just saying that she believes in you, but yet it's not her. <laughs> yeah, Yumi, I think that's a very funny looking wall too. God damn it. Oh no, it's another vengeful spirit. Then don't talk to it. I'm already talking to him. <laughs> that poor girl, she lost her mind. So she'll never get it back. Okay, slay. Possession. <laughs> Possession is a frightful thing to have your thoughts pushed you down into the pit of your soul. And someone else's. And someone else takes their place. Wait, we have a bucket of... Slightly. I'm scared in case I walk at her and she actually kills me. Ayumi is staring at you, as if transfixed, when an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. I give you a smooch on the kiss. A uh, smooch on the kiss, smooch, <laughs> smooch on the cheek. She's standing there laughing. Is there a bucket in here that I can splash her with? Okay, no, there's no buckets in here, clearly. Shinozaki. Oh, Shinozaki. <coughs> what am Jesus I gonna do? I feel like I'm losing my mind. 
Why is this happening to us? Do I pick up a mirror shard and show her her face? Shinuma. Oh. Gishinuma. <laughs> Crap. What? All this smoke as he get the hell out of the stall right this instant. He smokes? Probably. He's a delinquent. What is his he eyes? Hitting the tobacco again, where are we? Oh, well, no, sir. Uh, didn't I warn you that it, what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Ex ex expulsion? Ex expulsion? I thought that said explosion. That's what I thought. I, l I looked too fast and I got confused myself. <laughs> explosion, that's what. Did you? I said, ex <laughs> I said explosion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be exploded, please. <laughs> you're the you're a real problem child, you know that. Why did you even come to school in the first place? To smoke. Huh. <laughs> Disowned by your parents living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Was she? Why was he disowned? Just because you hate school doesn't give you a right to throw fits and raise your records all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun there, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. <clears throat> it's not like you're trying to get into college with your home life as it is. That probably wasn't even hasn't even crossed your mind. What a dick. Uh-huh. Sir, you talk too much. I'm trying to eat my fucking pasta. <laughs> I wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no good kid like you in the family, but they've never shown their face around. Not since the very first parent teacher conference we ever held, wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> oh, Haha, <laughs> my parents aren't exactly proud of me, shall we, shall we say? Um, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. It clearly like there's not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as likes with them as yours obviously are with you. Wow! The problem is people are ranking kids when they're way too young. I love how he's smiling through all this as well. <laughs> Before I think you come from an adult, they're popping up babies of their own. Yep, this is IRL. This is 2023 in a nutshell. I'm glad parents raised by kids. That's why there are so many brats like you. In the world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in, in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of his jackass. Sorry, this jackass, and then drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good. They're good mommies and daddies. Yeah, it's basically like if they pay shit, then they're good. But really, it's not. It's about how they write some. <laughs> well, newsflash, you're not ha ha. What's with that look? <clears throat> oh no! I've never hit a teacher before. Ah, well, first time for everything. Mr. Chuboda? Chubata? Whatever. Suboda, I think that says. I don't know. <clears throat> but if it is in the classroom, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. 
I need a backup staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Mm -hmm. Shinozaki. You've got great eyes, you know that. Ah, uh, stop! Nasty. Always so clear and focused. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. The instructor is like your kind, best of. Yeah, a little bit too much. Mm. You ever have a problem when you come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> you nasty man. That's guy the worst. I love how she just changed. Like, mm, what a bastard. <laughs> Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? Maybe. What a sad face it would What a sad face, face. It would <laughs> You got a sad face! God damn it. What a sad fate it would be to be kicked out of school over a sad, pathetic excuse of a teacher like him. And you regret it later, you know? You would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may, he may be, uh, and no matter how you think, I'll turn out in the end. <laughs> Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to the graduation. Honestly, that meat sniffles. What? Why are you crying? Just, oh. Ah. Sorry, when I begin an impression speech. In, in, impassioned. I, I, I thought it said impression too, and I was like, wait a second, there's oh no my. R. <laughs> she, so she's sad. putting a voice on. <laughs> Whenever I get uh, an impassioned speech like that. I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kir Kishinoma from class 1 5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinigaki from class 1 3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling, <laughs> I was lying, of course. That was the most sinister voice you've done. <laughs> I'm lying, of course. <laughs> this is like that one avatar fucking uh, scene with Azula. He's like, my own mother thought I was a monster. <laughs> she was right, of course, but it still hurt. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It, it, that's, that's what it was. It was like, my own mother thought I was a monster. And then she goes all sad and stuff. And then she's funny. She's like, she's right, of course, but it's still a her. <laughs> uh, I never... Wow, I never actually thanked her for what she said that day. For crying on my behalf. Oh yeah, she did cry. I was like, did she? And I was like, yeah, no, she did. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here that I'd protect her no matter what happens. Simp. This must, this, this must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Mm -hmm. Oh. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me. Why does she have... What is coming out of her mouth? Is she... she She's infected with rabies. I'll say she's got rabies and she's foaming out the mouth. The raccoon bit her. I don't know how a raccoon got in here, but he came chomping. Probably. <laughs> Shinozaki. Shinozaki. Cut the bullshit, you stupid woman. I thought he was gonna push her. I also thought he was gonna push her. Shinozaki. 
Please come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? You can wait for one of them. <laughs> there's no... There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. Hey, <laughs> that was bad. No, it wasn't. It's the truth. True. One of them already... <gasps> you know? So... <clears throat> oh, I accidentally skipped that. So warm. That's all she said. Kishinuma, where? What? Shinazaki, you're. Good day. Eek. Oh, she punched. Ow. Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What? <laughs> so, what you're saying... So far the corpses were, were found in here. Have been people we've never... We've never met before. Well, that thing was left behind by someone really close to us, someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. My god. And the next thing I knew, you were, I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. That's kind of gay, bro. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all of her pain and I was freezing cold, expect except my throat was so hot it felt like it was on fire. Yep, it was it was such Chico. Such Chico. And then I voided my bowels and everything went dark. Oh my god, did she, is she just basically saying- What? She's saying she basically pissed herself. From fear? Yep. Bro, I don't know. I don't know what kind of shit she's into. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and legs just wouldn't move. I would be yell out help me, but I had no voice. I was scared and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. For now. <laughs> yeah, it was Seiko. It wasn't you. Yes, I know. <sighs> well, we searched the whole building. Miss Yui, it really is nowhere to be found. Because she did. <laughs> she got crushed by a cabinet. What a pussy way to fucking die. Imagine getting crushed by a cabinet. That's such a sad thing to go by. Like, at least <laughs> maybe we should head back to the classroom. As if she's gonna come back. <laughs> Yeah, probably. That's probably the best. No Satoshi or others, though, either. Hi. God damn it, Ace. I'm the problem with me. I feel like, in a way, I might have picked a bad option for Miss Yui. Yes, you did, because you were supposed to like be like, oh yeah, you know, I I am like that. I want to save myself instead of my students. I mean, we'll see, I guess. No, it's it is like that. We'll see. I will tell you that. It is. Oh, child. Child. Oh no. Oh, child. No. I know that one. There's a child. Let's go. No. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> really? Hehehe. <laughs> Kill me. Oh. What the fuck? One of them has no head! Headless chicken! Ha 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 ha. 
I think I was Mayu, was I? Yo, Mayu, I'm the dude. Okay, that's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. Ihihi. <laughs> Suzumoto, get away. You need to run quickly. And my homeroom teacher's the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> I love how the last one is Kihihi. <laughs> Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it. Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Stop crying, oh! you stupid bitch. She got no eye. Shinozaki? Keshinuma? Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids, huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post: Four children abducted. Follow-up report. The brutal shock- brutal, brutal shocking events! <laughs> Sorry, the brutal shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped uh, grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims had the majority of her head slowly and method- Methodically. Methodically. Methodically? Okay, yeah, that makes much more sense. Uh, remove. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Heavenly host elementary students picture, pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. One of the uh, of these children, one was blank when the investigators arrived at the scene of crime. She was blank blood blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. <gasps> These, <laughs> these ghosts had the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. Look how innocent and cute she is though. You're fucking stupid, my you. I'm going to stay with them. Why are you crying though? I don't think that's a really- Sorry, I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Oh, she's shaken. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Again? Why? No, stop. Look at how creepy- Wait, hold on. Look at the one without the head. You can see their head faintly. Yep. Hey, what's going on? Eek. Shinozaki. You stupid bitch. Damn it, what the hell did they do? What? Go grab the kids. Go get the scissors. Ugh. Uh, is the scissors over this way? Are lined up on each of the shelves. I don't think if I leave. Oh, I do leave. <laughs> it sounds so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? We cry about it. I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. I love how you changed the voice. We have, we have to. to. We have to. I'm like, ow. I'm like, ow. We have to help her. Well, your nose is bleeding. Again? It doesn't look like it in the decal. No, oh, what? Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Her balls dropped. 
<laughs> it went boom. Jeez, and your Trump loves about it too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's honking? <laughs> Who's honking? Honk honk. <laughs> Insert like the weird uh bit it did it noise in here. No, no, it's the gooey honk. <laughs> uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Let it drip. Let it drip. Hello. Wait, what? Huh? Who is you? Oh my Jesus Christ! She's got what the fuck? She's got a symbol on her head. She she's got eyes like a dead fish. Oh, she's a fish. You only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. Yet you're not a ghost? I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... And it wouldn't happen to be Naha, would it? It is. Who the Who's fuck that? Is you? Yeah, who is that? High school paranormalist Naha Sanoki. I don't know what that is, but sure. It's a club. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're part of a club with like. Okay. I think. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award. Last year. She's an author, right? No, mom's an author. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> so they're pretty well known for community. For commu com commuting? Commuting? Commuting, yes. Communing with spirits and has lots of. has a popular. A popular. Homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Mrs. Sanet. Sanoki, I'm your. I'm on your website all the time. That's why you have no friends. Ayumi. She looks so cute, though. She looks like a bitch. <laughs> That's very flattering. Though, I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. The last posting is about the Sachi Clever after John. It's, it's your fault they're here. Yep. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here out of your own... ...volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? <laughs> Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these close spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the oh, sorrow. Wow. <laughs> Through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Vict <laughs> victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. These children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. What a fucking pussy. The four kids' pictures in that newspaper article. They're a bunch of pussies, that's what they are. <laughs> it, it sure seems like it. Fuck you. <laughs> Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, 
There might just be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell did we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is remorse or regret from the one who killed them. Well, the one who killed them is also kind of dead. <laughs> you stupid, you stupid woman. The one who killed them. Are you saying yes? The fucking school teacher. The murderer is here in this school. Yes. He's a nasty man. Seriously, how are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? I would be very easy. You see. Mayu sobbing. You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are gonna hurt your friend. Cry about it. I mean, we will. We'll think of something, I guess. The first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinazaki, hold up. She just fucking ran. I don't know much about you as an author or paranormal researcher but i'm gonna take you on your word anyway right now i'm just grateful for any lead at all so thanks she's just dead on the inside i don't think she's dead dead but oh um uh, yumi oh she is vomiting hey are you all right no you can you cannot you clearly can see her fucking gagging or throwing up and you're like, hey, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Bitch. If she was okay, she would not be fucking gagging and throwing around. Like, you know, she wouldn't throwing be throwing around. Gagging. I mean she wouldn't be throwing up, you stupid. I'm yeeting you... myself across the room. You stupid man. Uh yeah, look, I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't because you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinazaki. She needs to get out of the school, or she could, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it! Why is there no exit? You're trapped, boy. She's just possessed. Where do we go from here then? Fucking child! I'm gonna go quick save. There's two of them. Where do I go? This. Hi! There's an old fashioned festival doll laying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Pick it up. Yeah! Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found its way to communicate its soul desire. What the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head. <laughs> Where'd you lose it? <laughs> Antique doll body. Oh, this is the girl who hates her sister. No. No. <gasps> Child! This is a... This is ah! <laughs> Come down here, you stupid child. No, 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 down here. Go fuck yourself. Fuck me! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know! <laughs> You're supposed to get that purple shiny thing, it's the head. There! It's up the head. Severed head of an old-fashioned festival doll laying on the ground here. Pick it up, take it! Oh, you lying son of a bitch. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll, somehow or another. It's found a way to communicate its soul desire. I hear a voice- AGAIN! Return my body. We have the body. A doll head. Put them together. I don't know. I don't know if this gives me, um, pocket mirror vibes. Oh what? my god. As the head of. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins, begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high pitched voice like of that. Sorry, like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold. Oh fuck, I hate that word. An almost robotic monotone. 
Oh. To have killed children so brutally. I was not in my right mind. I did not want them to die. I was scared too. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. I'm actually a good person. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off like he's just playing around and saying what we want to hear? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, so very sorry. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as rep repetence from the murderer? Pentient spirit. Nice. I'll never forgive him no matter what he says. Oh fuck, I have to avoid the children, don't I? Yep, children. There's two of them! How am I meant to do two of them? A glitch, maybe? Go, go. Fuck, I got caught. You got fucked. I hate children. Go, 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 go! Yes! Open your eyes, please. Oh no. Please. Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you, and yeah, I get it was really horrible, but you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Shouting at them is not gonna help either. They have no time. That should make them mad, they'll shut us out. You're stupid. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to their penitent spirit sealed within. It's gone silent. <laughs> She's crying. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. You love your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Nope. Please, I know you can do it. Let go of that girl, let go of Suzumoto. No, stop. Oh no. Oh shit. No, no. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, you fucked that up, Ayumi. Oh, Ayumi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Wait till you see what the ghost did. Oh no, she's gone. Is she? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, she's like. Blah. <laughs> Uh, this must be the body thrown across. Ew. Yeah. What the hell? Shiver. Tremble. This isn't. It couldn't be. So, okay. Oh no. 
Shinazaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. Can't take this anymore. Shinazaki! I'm, I'm really starting to lose it. What the fuck is- Bonk. Shloop. 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 I'm going to assume this is a really bad end. Oh my god, she's alive! She's actually alive. What? The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Ow. Oof. Fan, fan. So you're really, really concerned about the safety of your children? Students, are you? Of course I am. No, oh, wait, look, you just a good ending. But you're just an instructor now. Instructor, no? You have no famili famili familial? Yes. Or bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. <laughs> Gaspu. I think I speak for any si every single anything, <laughs> every single one of us at Kisugari Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as much as their parents do. Yes. Ooh. Never underestimate a teacher. <laughs> now answer me this: Your little rant earlier suggested that two more of my students are here than the two I came with. And the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is numerous corporal entities joined us in these closed spaces all at the same time. Counting you right since the arrival of nine people. <laughs> Two of which are fucking dead. Yeah. Oof. Ah. My right arm is definitely broken. Just... And all this blood. Period. <laughs> all those cutting impl implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. No bitch. Sh Shinazaki and Kashinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn harm to another. It's not just people trapped in the space, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs out in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. Okay, we didn't get a bad end. Chapter 3 has been unlocked.